Welcome everyone. I just wanted to show you today a few simple tips on working on the pottery wheel. The first step is centering, which is vital to making sure everything works out. So use a little bit of water on the wheel. If your clay is already pretty wet, you may not use water, you may not need water. We can throw it down, just like a little suction cup, as close to the center as possible. If it's off-center, say it's off-center and you start the wheel, that's quite a bit off balance. What we want to do is take, um, either pull the clay up or we can shift it over a little bit. Start the wheel and you notice the foot pedal is on top of the wheel. If you have a tabletop wheel you can set it on your table um, or position it however you're comfortable. Usually if it's controlled with a foot in the beginning stages we overdo it and it ends up going too fast. Now this is much like going down the street thinking 120 is okay in a 25 mile per hour zone. Um, it doesn't work, so we slow the wheel down so we don't go out of control. Just a little, a lot slower, maybe mid speed. Take my finger, seal it down, and you can notice when I seal the clay down there's no gaps. If I have no gaps, the clay will not come off. If there are gaps, usually the clay slides right off and we lose control of it. So mid speed's about right. Adding some water, you add whatever you feel comfortable with. Beginners usually add quite a bit of water. If we use a little bit of water, sometimes it gets sticky. We do want it to feel smooth on our hands so that we can center it properly. Now the first step is coning the clay for the centering process. That's bringing it up gently, never using harsh or um, overdoing it when we squeeze it. So it's gently pulling it up, slowly moving it down, any way that feels comfortable to you. You can cup your hands, you can use your right hand, your left hand. We're bringing it down so that we can cup it in our hands to center it. We either brace our arms into our body if we're sitting, or if we're standing, we can brace our arms into our stomach, um, our waist, whatever, whatever feels comfortable to you. If you have a tabletop wheel, you can always place it on top of a chair. Um, you can use your own chair, um, sit on another chair, and set it so that you can uh, either sit beside it or stand up. Everybody has their own comfort zone, and the key to centering is feeling comfortable. The whole process is learning to be comfortable with the clay. Your hands will tell you what's going on. Your eyes may deceive you, but your hands will tell you. Two ways to center it. One is a fist on top. Notice my hands are connected. One supports the other. The pressure's from the back. It's never from the side. The side supports it. The back of my hand pushes. I can either cut my hands like this, or I can center it like this. So my main hand for centering the clay is the left hand. Um, it's going counterclockwise. Some wheels can go the other direction. That may be a little more difficult. This is the left, or the, actually the right-handed method. Going the other direction would be the left-handed method. Now again, for centering, feel comfortable. Make sure we don't go too fast. And let your hands tell you when it's centered. Thanks, and I hope you have a good time sending.